Former Action SA member Bongani Baloi has, in the last 24 hours, launched his own political party, Shiluba, after leaving Action SA at the beginning of March. Baloi says the party will focus on multiracialism and issues facing the youth in a diverse country such as South Africa. How should parties distinguish themselves in order to appeal to the electorate? Let's speak about this and the dynamics of the situation, especially so close to the 2024 general elections of Professor Thabo Dizile, sociolinguistic lecturer with the Tswani University of Technology. A very good evening to you, sir. Grateful for your time. So, language, image, and identity always key in politics in countries all over the world, but especially in South Africa. Are our political parties getting it right? Um, well, it depends who you ask. Uh, but our political parties, you know, they didn't dally on the issue of race. You know, sometimes we are told that we should ignore that there is race in South Africa. But other times we are told, for instance, when we collect data on, uh, you know, our population, you know, population census, we use race, which means we, we recognize that South Africa has different race groups. But yet we say we want to, uh, you know, strive for this uh, non-racial. So how do you strive for non-racial if you recognize race? How then has someone like Bongani Baloi, who has come from two political homes, the DA and then Action SA, now launching his own venture, Shiluba, new name. Um, he explained what it means. I think it means a flower in Shitsonga. He's now launched it. But how well has he done in explaining what it is, what it stands for, especially when you consider the multiple contexts with which South Africans often identify with a political leader or political party? Yeah, I think Bongani understands that you can treat all people equally, uh, you know, even in the, in the context of understanding that they are different. That's why he's using uh, the, the, you know, the concept multiracial, which, by the way, is a term that was popularized in South Africa in the uh, mid-80s when former Model C schools were open for all race groups. They were called multiracial schools, meaning that, uh, you know, we recognize that we have different race groups. So it looks like Bongani understands that, uh, that you can treat all of us fairly. Uh, you can give everybody a fair shot, even when you recognize that um, he is different from me. But how do you factor that message into the youth politics and the dynamics in South Africa? Because when I spoke to him last night, he was basically saying that, and I'm paraphrasing, it's basically a less radical party for the youth that believes in challenging things, but going, going about it by the rules, basically different from the EFF in essence. And there's a resonance, is there not, in society with the more radical approach to challenging the status quo. Will he have a tough time? Uh, well, there is a section of the youth that uh, would not be attracted by radicalism. So I think that is the space that he wants to go to go in. This would be, uh, you know, people who are apolitical, who really aren't interested in uh, anything radical. So I think he saw a niche and he's, you know, he saw a gap in our political landscape, especially around the youth. So he's going for it. And um, I think he, I'm not sure what, what his prospects of, of success will be, but at least he's not a politician who went into this without doing some, some research as to what are my, I mean, yeah, what are my chances of success? Who knows? He might get five, six, or even a big portion of the, of the youth vote, because that's what he's after. He's mm -hmm. not interested in my vote as a man in his 50s. He's interested in people who are, between ages 18, I think until 35, I may be wrong. But he's targeting people who are much younger than me. And it'll depend on language and image, will it not, how he gets them interested because getting more young people to vote in South Africa remains one of the priorities, especially when people are so increasingly despondent. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, uh, the language, I mean, even the choice of party that he used, I mean, we know uh, that a lot of parties in South Africa, in fact, or nearly all of them, they go for, you know, they coin their names around, around English. So here's someone who says, I am going to use Shitsonga, this beautiful language, uh, you know, to, to use it as a platform. Um, for, 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 for launching my, my own party. That, that may resonate with 
you know, uh, uh, people who speak African languages, they might say, here's someone who sees things from our perspective as opposed to the mainstream. Mm -hmm. And in language, I've gone back now to his initial tweet when Bogan Balwe said this yesterday. Shiluba was born out of a sense of political homelessness, hopelessness, and desperation. It's founded, he said, on values of family, Ubuntu, community, and multiracialism. This is a fundamental departure, he tweeted, from the status quo of the body politics of our country. You hear that, right? And I want to read you the yes. immediate reply straight after. Someone says, I'm not sure about birthing an organization out of hopelessness and desperation. Is that a fair critique? Um, yeah, well, it may be read as, as, as fair critique, but it does not mean if it does not mean he doesn't have a point. I mean, we know, for instance, that the IEC has said that there is a huge chunk of the youth uh, you know, uh, youth electorate that is despondent, that is not interested in our politics. Uh, you know, that needs someone to to shake them up, to revive them, to say you can also have a stake uh, in deciding who governs you. Um, so, like I said, I go back to my previous point: the coining, the targeting. Um, you know, it's you, know, you and I will wait to see if it will, you know, garner him votes. But at least the messaging is targeted at a, at a specific group. I'm also quite drawn to the reference to family values as among what Shiluba is based upon, because that's been a departure, has it not been, as far as messaging from the more mainstream parties, the more uh, electorally successful ones. Uh, you don't see a lot of that mentioned in their manifestos. In yes. fact, you see it um, more often in the campaigns of the more uh, religion-based political parties, i.e. the ACDP, for instance. And I wonder how much that will resonate in an evolving South Africa where family means different things now to different people. For example, it raises questions, and I don't know if Bongani Baloi has answered this before, about where the party will stand on issues of abortion, same-sex marriage, etc. Um, yeah, well, it depends how he links that family value with, with religion. Um, because, you know, issues that you're now talking about touch on religion, and that's, you know, a very controversial space. But at the generic level, by family here, he means, I mean, um, other parties really don't talk about family values. And by family here, we mean, uh, you know, morality, ethics, uh, being, uh, you know, uh, dispensed by parents on their, on their children, on their offsprings. That is lacking in South African, in the South African political landscape. You don't hear people saying, uh, this is what, for instance, if children step one another at, at school, uh, you don't hear the narrative about parents, what are you doing about discouraging your children from doing things that are, that are, that are despicable. You don't hear that enough. All you hear is, we need more security in schools, um, we need, uh, you know, uh, 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 what, uh, metal detectors. We all come up with all other solutions except the basic, which is, uh, you know, functional homes. Because as South Africa, we come from, from a, a, a difficult past where we have, uh, you know, many families that are dysfunctional. So for someone to be talking about targeting a home, he may be looking or talking about that, that unit because society is formed by families. So if families are stable, you're more likely to have a stable society. Other parties do not speak enough about that section mm. of, 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 our, of, of our lives. Professor Thabo Ditsile, sociolinguistics lecturer with the University of Tswani, or the Tswani University of Technology. Good to speak to you, sir. Thank you for your time.